All right, so welcome back to Let's Play Poorly of X4 Foundations. Looks like we're on episode 12. So, here we are. We need to go back, talk to Reen Amara uh, to continue our mission. Uh, to the, the Hitekva, uh, the sort of the Hitekva support missions. Let's see, what do they call them? What do they call it in this game? Uh, Hatikva Endeavor. All right, yeah, that's what we gotta do. Calisto. Hello. Sentinel. Let's sit down here and head on out. Captain. All right, let me make sure my audio is working. It is fantastic. Okay. So uh, there's been another update to the Cleaner HUD UI. Cleaner. Cleaner HUD mod. Uh, so now uh, it gets rid of the white squares, it gets rid of the blue squares, it gets rid of all the squares, it desquares everything, and it puts the icon on the top center rather than the top left, which makes it a little bit more uh, contextually appropriate. It is freaking fantastic. It also removes, as you can see here, it removes the weapon HUD elements unless you are targeted on something. So let's see if we make this work. That's not what I wanted to do. Cerberus. There we go. Vanguard. Boom. And as you can see, two things happen. My weapons pop up. And you can see now all we have here are the uh, the shield and armor values of the, of the object we're targeting and... The icon is in the top center. Brilliant. Brilliant. I don't know how I live without it. Okay, so we gotta go back to Renamara. Let's see. Auto That's autopilot. Engage. And let's see how far we have to go. Oh, not too far. We just go down here, up and zoom around, and there we go. So this is what we know. It's been a minute uh, for me since I've uh, played in here. Let's see. The Warthog Trader is what I'm in right now. Oh, right. Little Fish is back where we need to go. So we're going to be able to pick up Little Fish when we get back to that station. Explorer 1 Alpha. What's Explorer 1 doing? Explorer 1 is exploring. Excellent. Over here in Grand Exchange 4. Probably going to go to Grand Exchange 1 next, I hope. What's Ice Ice Baby up to? Ice Ice Baby is Ice Ice Babying. And then over here... Uh, okay, so we do have our dock. That's right. We need to go back and talk to Bozo Ta uh, to be informed that it's not going to work. <laughs> Uh, so, Sonic Screwdriver is just chilling out over here. We're going to keep Sonic Str Screwdriver as the trade for build storage guy uh, because we're going to be building some more stuff pretty soon. Um, we don't really need that trader doing much for us at the moment. So, that is fine. Meanwhile, we're just going to wait here while we uh, kind of zoom along here to get to... We're going to get onto the... Uh, in, into that superhighway. But you can see that the UI is just, just so much cleaner now. Uh, the HUD is cleaner. Like, look at that. This jump gate, or well, I guess, uh, yeah, this is the jump gate. Look, the icon's right above it. That ship, the icon's right above it. It's just better. It's just better. Like, I, the, the idea of the icons being on the top left made sense when you have the brackets, but when the brackets are gone, then it's in a weird floaty position that doesn't make sense. Uh, now it's much more contextually appropriate. It's so good. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing, autopilot? You just want to go slow? Yeah, you just want to go. You want to be careful. Okay, all right, I appreciate that. I, I understand the value. Oh my God! Okay. Entering system. You were, just, you were just pranking me there, weren't you? I've also switched to a new mic. Hopefully this mic is at least as good as the other one I had. Uh, let me really quickly check my levels. Uh, everything's going to get all janky and slow for a second. But yeah, I think my levels are okay. I used to have this mic set up when I was doing um, uh, online teaching uh, many, many years ago when I was uh, a professor. <laughs> uh, before I burned the heck out of that. And uh, are we done? Are we done here? Um, and it was giving me some, it used to give me some weird, uh, static, not static, more like buzz. It gave me buzz, but I have, uh, since, uh, adjusted the way all my things plug in and, uh, and it's working better now, I think. I don't think I get any buzz. Oh, come on, autopilot guy. All right, Disagree. I'm just going to do it myself. Oh, that's right, we're in this little sloby ship. 
Ugh. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Alright. Oh, slow down, slow down. Yeah. Don't really quite have the stopping on a dime kind of thing with this, with the warthog here. Alright. Let's, uh, go on in here. Docking granted. Nope. Oh, forgot. I don't have the docking ability. I don't have a, a docking computer. All right, we gotta do this. We gotta switch our switch our uh, thrusters to reverse. No, oh, overshot. Just a smidge. There we go. Now we can go down. Ah, much better. Successfully docked. All right, let's get up. Let's go talk to Reen. So one of the commenters, uh, David, I believe, uh, suggested uh, doing some uh, witchy magic with my uh, Radeon software to drop the tessellation down to uh, a level that might take less processing. Uh, it it may have had an impact. I can't really tell uh, if it's had an impact on my frame rates. Um, it may more be affecting the bottom, the bottom out um, than it is on the top. Uh, my top seems to be still... Uh, Decent. So, ah, here we go. This must be the new recruit. Things went smoothly. I take it. This is Dalbuster. He's been helping us in our efforts to expand our business. That's one way of putting it. As you may have heard, a, a Tigva freighter was destroyed earlier today. It seems that the scale plate pact don't like the idea of us going clean. Unfortunately, this is what happens when you act on bad intel. That's something we're looking to improve on. If you're willing, I'd like you to help us. Our goal is to break all ties with Scaleplate while making sure they don't continue harassing us. Easier said than done, but with the right preparation, I'll have them eating out of your hand. I'll be on my ship. I look forward to working with you. He's nothing if not confident. All right, I'm gonna talk to her, make sure my audio is back on. Good, okay. So, what do you say? What do I say? I say, uh, well, uh, let's go through these, right? I, I obviously have done this many times, but if you're watching this, you maybe haven't, so let's uh, listen to what they have to say. A Tigva have not had it easy in the years gone by. We traded with whoever was willing. They were chaotic times, and Scaleplate gave us an opportunity to grow. The Argon simply offer better trade and security prospects than Scaleplate ever could. So one of the things about Scaleplate is that they're basically pirates. Uh, they have a few stations, but they're not really a faction in their own right. Um, and everybody hates them because they're they're pirates, and they hide. Um, they hide their um, what's the word I'm looking for? The identification codes uh, as uh, they hide as other uh, faction ships, and then you have to kind of track them down. You can you can identify them by the names that they give themselves, like Marauder, Raider, and things like that. Uh, but you have to scan them before you attack them otherwise the faction to which they have falsely aligned themselves in that ship will think that you're attacking one of their ships it's it's uh it's an interesting uh gameplay uh process it, it's obviously like well it's called a marauder you'd think everybody would know but that's mainly just for the player to find them more easily rather than having to like scan every freaking ship out there uh you can spot them on the map i've known Dahl for several years now He's a very cunning and skilled analyst. When I was tasked to expand our trade operations, get closer to the Argon, I knew I needed him on board. Unfortunately, the scale plate pact has proven to be rather erratic. Okay, well, I'm in. Glad to hear it. I let Dahl know. Just follow his instruction and you'll be fine. Why don't you go chase Dahl down? I'm sure he'd want to show off his ship. All right, so. Rather than doing this part of the mission next, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do the Bozo Ta bit. So we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into our ship. Where's my... There it is. There's my panel. We're going to go back to Little Fish because Little Fish moves a little bit faster. Oh. Here. Elite Vanguard. Now she's not standing up because I wasn't in this uh, ship last. Uh, and so that mod does not impact her. Um, which I think is pretty smart. 
All right, let's undock. This station is always really busy in terms of things going on, and so it does tend to tank my frame rates uh, on the station, which is uh, which is fine. Once we get back onto open space, we're back up to 25 frames per second, which, as far as I'm concerned, is perfectly decent, perfectly usable. I can fly and fight with that speed, with that frame rate, no problem. All right. Heading out over back to uh, Grand Exchange. We need to go, go try to get try to get into the into the station, into the new station, the PHQ that isn't a PHQ yet. Do, uh, Bozata is going to tell us it failed to uh, to do it, and then we're going to have to go rescue him. Sorry, spoiler alert. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. I'm in the I'm in the faster ship. I'm uh, in the more uh, precisely maneuvering ship. I can uh, I don't have to halt way way early anymore. Warthog is chill, still just chilling out over there, but that's fine. Warthog doesn't need to do anything right now. I'm not trying to optimize like I've always been saying. He doesn't need to go make any money right away. Yeah, super happy with the way the cleaner HUD you, uh, mod is working. Entering system. Silent witness. And pop up. There we go. And now we go this way. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm not fighting anybody right now. What can I do here? Can I grab this mission? Destroy criminal traffic mission. I'll do that. I'll hang on to that one. You, I could count on you. Mission interrupted. New mission activated. So that voice uh, of Betty there um, really only is operative. Uh, that, that's only me a meaningful statement when the mod uh, 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 of uh, acquiring missions for later. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it's another one of the QWERTY mods. Um, it basically forces the game to restore your previously selected mission whenever you take a new one because the the vanilla game switches to the mission that you just selected which is why that voiceover was happening because it's a story mission that you're being moved away from um but that obviously doesn't happen anymore because of the mod and we're still going that way all right 18 billion and you can see the uh the auto or the the uh, mission target outline has changed. Well, not changed, but the brackets are no longer there because uh, the cleaner HUD mod uh, removes them, and so we just get these little um, these little hyphens. How are we doing? Are we almost there? Oh, wrong way. Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, there's another mission I might be able to grab. What is this one? Uh. What we gotta do? Fly and find. Nah, those 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 are fine, but Entering you know, system. I, I don't need Brand it. Exchange. Basically, just basically has a, has you track down a, a ship and scan it, and then and then you're done. I think I think that's what that one is. You know, I'm wondering if the uh, the tessellation. Uh, advanced option I set up on the suggestion of the um, of the commenter may actually be tanking my frame rate I wonder if maybe my um, my uh, my card may be weak enough that it normally optimizes to have like zero tessellation possibly <laughs> and by switching it to what I thought was a lower number 4x and his suggestion maybe it's going up uh, I can't really tell uh, my frame rates are about stable to what they were before maybe a little bit slower Switching to the map seems to take a little bit longer, um, but that may that may again just be due to the fact that I haven't rebooted my computer in an age and a half, um, and that tends to happen sometimes when it's just got like a whole bunch of cruft in memory and stuff, and you know I don't have the best computer in the world. So, all right, doing my little patented ski slide here. What? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not that patented. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's embarrassing. Oh, 
Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hope you didn't get bruised too much, Mr. Uh, Super Highway Man. Okay, we're just gonna pretend nobody saw that. Whoops. Alright, here we go. There we are. Oh, and we even went in upside down, okay. Alright, now we gotta dock at our Entry station again. Grand exchange. Go. One. We're doing 31, 32 FPS here, which is actually not usual for me. I don't know. Maybe it's working. I'll stick with it for a little bit and, and see how it goes. Usually, I, I uh, in this in this uh, sector, I'm usually down to like 20 or something, 25. But again, it may also be due to the state of the game, um, where since we're fairly, fairly new into the game. I mean, we've seen a lot, but, but we're still only about six hours of real time into the game. There's not a lot, too, not too much going on yet. Uh, and there's that station in the upper right that kept giving me all these troubles with that mod that kept freezing my game every time I tried to land. Oh, I did it again. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Yeah. Docking granted. What? That was weird. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I'm having that throttle issue again, where it's uh, being noisy. I hope that's not a permanent problem. I was reading about the X-56 sticks, they, uh, the X-56 HOTAS systems, they have a it's tendency to, to do that sometimes, so we'll see. Hello there. Which would suck. Alright. Let's try it. Still locked out from direct access. It seems I have no choice. I must leave my current location and join you on that station. Your All right. Would be greatly appreciated. I will send instructions. I didn't expect I would need to enact this escape plan so abruptly. A fast combat ship is preferable. Does this count as a fast combat ship? Probably not. Captain. I think it'll do fine, though. We'll see. Yeah, so hopefully my X-56 isn't glitching out permanently. It used to be something I could recover by just resetting. Um, maybe I need to reboot the computer. Maybe all I need to do. We'll see. Hasn't been interfering too, too much. Every once in a while it does trigger a control that... Uh, kind of does something weird, like switched to the outside view and then switched my uh, uh, my secondary weapon to saying, oh, it's out of ammo, that's why I got that message, because it was trying to fire, I think, right? If I do that, oh, I don't even know. Oh, no, it was doing a switch, switch ammo, that's what it was doing. I think it was doing this button. Oh, even that's not working. I mean, it's not doing the thing I thought, oh, I don't know, I don't know then. Who knows? Weird glitch. We'll pretend it wasn't happening. All right. We got to get over there, because that is where, oh, that's the service, okay, that's right, that's what we got to pick up that ship. We're going to go get that Sentinel. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and autopilot, and I'm going to go ahead and save the game and uh, catch you guys on the flip side. I'll be right back. All right, we are back, and let me switch actually to the game. There we go. That would have been awkward if I had played the last 10 minutes of this episode with just the, the, the watch on, on the screen. Uh, it's uh, Don't put it past me to do something like that. I did, in fact, run 40 minutes of a stream of another game with just showing the uh, first, uh, the upper left quadrant of the screen for, like, like I said, 40 minutes out of two hours <laughs> until someone mentioned it on Twitch. Oh, God, that was embarrassing. Uh, all right, so we are nearly there. We're going to go and pick up that Cerberus Sentinel. Entering Black Hole Sun 4. I must admit, I am beginning to feel a bit tense. I do hope this goes to plan. I have further refined the plan. Please take a look. There we 
go. Oh, that was a slow turn. Probably could have done that better. All right, so we just got to go to that uh, that marker. Pick up the Cerberus. I can see it down there in the bottom left. Not too, too far away. Here we go. Yeah. Let's just boost up. Okay. I have further refined the plan. Please take a look. All right, so now we need to go to the mission briefing. Open the briefing. Clear charter a number of ships as to act as decoy transports while I make my escape by other as means. You can see, yeah. I wish to escape the station via a chartered freighter. There are actually multiple ships involved, as to confound anyone wishing to track me. I would like you to protect any ship which should get into trouble. Okay. But meanwhile, before we do that, Cerberus. let's go get Sentinel. this Cerberus. Now, can I dock already? Docking not no. Possible. Okay. I, that's oh, of course. Duh. I have to. Uh, first, I have to claim it. All right. <clears throat> let's see where. Where do I want to land? What do I want to be? Get when I get out of my. There we go. I'll be right here. And I will get out of my ship, or out of my cockpit here. Hello there, elite vanguard. All right. There's the ship. Cerberus Sentinel. Oop. Autopilot disengaged. Throttle is definitely false triggering certain things. It happens rarely enough that I'm not super worried about it at the moment. Okay, so where do I go? I'm gonna have to scan this guy. There it is. that. Done. Now it's mine, and now we should be able to dock. Done. All right. This is my ship now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get little fish to dock here. Fish coming in. Yep. Please wait for the ship to conclude its business. It will launch shortly. All right. Now we got to get back to that mission. Where is it? Where is the ship? Well, this is interesting. I'm not sure where that ship is supposed to be. Is it over here at the equipment dock? That one's a deliver rare spices mission. We don't want that. I'm betting it's at the equipment dock, but I'm not 100% sure. There we go. Yes. Okay. While it is a decoy, I would rather no harm comes to the crew. What kind of weapons do I have? Weird ones. Okay. Do I have any turrets? Yes, they're on missile defense. Let's do. Let's do attack all enemies for right now. All right, Explorer One has finished exploring Grand Exchange Four. Alright, 
let me take a look at how my timer on my episode here. We're at 25 minutes, okay. We should be able to complete this mission in about 5 to 10. And then we will call it for the day. Alright, so this is the ship we need to escort. Let me go ahead and target it. Ides Vanguard. Okay. Don't want to shoot at it though, so I'm gonna turn off my weapons there. Let's take a look at our ship a little bit. We're we're another little uh, warthog style ship here. That's okay. Warthogs are cool. I know there's a match speed to target button. I don't use it. I've never used it. I probably should learn how to use it. I mean, I learn how. I mean, just use it. I know how to use it. But I don't bother. I mean, it's why. <laughs> I like using my, my throttle manually. So they're going to be coming in hot pretty soon. Hopefully we can spot them. That might be them. Maybe not. 90% of the time when they do this mission, we end up in combat. 10% of the time, they never find us. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a quiet ride this time. So what we're going to have to do is just wait for this ship to get all the way over to here think and then to a station so that could take us a minute since the bad guys haven't caught us haven't found us we may just be in for a long ride nope. sorry that was unrelated to us to okay. die. what what's that about discoverer vanguard you don't bother me oh there we go there's somebody criminal. I don't know if that's even related to that's Is that us? Let's find out. Stop. Big mistake. Very mistake. <laughs> I think we just ended up in the middle of a fight that had nothing to do with us, but that's okay. Acknowledged. Yep, that's not us. Oh, there's the guy. There he is. That's the guy we really want. Elite Vanguard. I mean, I could switch to my regular weapons. I could turn them on, but I'm not going to be able to hit the side of a barn door with with these, really. Like, they're way too slow. So, where well, I'm just relying on the turrets to do their job. I just have to stay close enough and in the correct arc. Got it. Anybody else? No, nobody else. Okay.
Alright. So they showed up a little bit later to the party than usual. That is fine. Let's see, where how far we gotta go. Okay. Let me do that. So, since this is gonna take a while, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording and come back when we uh, finish the mission. All right, and we are back. So once the uh, ship got out of the sector, we're good. Now we just need to fly back to the PHQ. All right, so while we're heading back, let's take a look at what else we got going on. Okay, Explorer 1 Alpha is doing Grand Exchange 1. Excellent. So we've already looked at a whole bunch of these sectors with the Explorer. Might even at some point buy another one to do some other parts of the map. Ice Ice Baby is still trucking along, uh, is about to complete that, uh, that essentially that second attempt at mining, which will fail and then it will sell. But we have been making a fair amount of money. Look at this. We're now at 1.1 million. Just by sitting around waiting for it to do its thing. Uh, and that's about the speed that I care about. Like, I don't need to be making billions right up front. So, Little Fish is just chilling over here. We could probably tell him to stop docking and waiting. That's just chilling out on the top of my ship. He'll just he'll just say, stay there for a minute. Because I don't have him set to uh, to do anything else. He's not in, he's not in a... He's not in a fleet with me, so he'll just chill. Uh, as you can see here, a whole bunch of fines that I kept collecting, right? Because I was fighting the criminal traffic and getting dinged with uh, bad stuff on, on board. So, yeah. Um, what else we got going on? And the Warthog Trader is just hanging out over at the trading station. Maybe, maybe we will do something with this guy. Um... He's only tiny, he's got like a half a, he can't even do distribute wares, can he? No, he can't even distribute wares because he's got shit skill. Uh, okay, can I, do I have any? Can I help? Yes, I've got a seminar I could give him. Just get him a little bit. Oh, he still needs a little bit more. All right, let's see if we can do one more. Can I help? No, I cannot. All right, so what we're going to do then, I bet it's because of your beard, dude. You got a little, little, little. Chin monkey. I don't know what to call those things. Um, okay. Let us see what we can just buy and sell with him. All right. Some quantum tubes. Quantum tubes make any money? Yeah, they could be decent. All right. Let's buy some quantum tubes here. Just grab like a little bit of that. Sell some here. We make about 4,600. Not a lot, but just it'll give him something to do. doesn't really give him a skill up or anything. I mean, it's not... It, 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 the goal there is not to, like, have him level up or anything like that. It's not even really to make money. It's just to give him something to do until I can get the PHQ up and running. I can put him on uh, trade for storage. I can uh, give him uh, other tasks. But for now, I'll just have him do that little bit of uh, buying and selling, which will help the factions a, a tiny amount. It is a little trader. It's not. It's. It's. I think it's. A, it's like. Yeah. It's a small. Right. It's a small trader. It's not much in this grand scheme of things. But that's okay. All right. How close are we to being done here? Oh, we still got a ways to go. Well, what can we do for missions? Thirteen crystal bits. Um. Let's. Let's add that in. Even though I don't think we can do any of that right now. New mission activated. Let's see. What has he got? What has he got in? What do I have in my? Uh, my pockets. I've got two crystal bits. Yeah, I don't have a lot here. I've got ten lodestone. So one of the things that the commenter was a commenter was making a point about how having, he was having difficulty getting more than five lodestones in his in his backpack. Uh, it wouldn't load up any more than that. And I haven't noticed that problem myself, so I'm not really sure what might be going on there. I've got ten in my pocket right now. Um, and I don't think I have any limitations. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a problem with that, but I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're in this little slow service. I do need to get a pilot, and I need to get better uh, equipment on this guy pretty soon. Let's see how we're doing for time. All right, 35 minutes. Well, uh, I guess what I'll do now, uh, since we are going to be going, we are going over a little bit, and it's going to take us a little bit of time, and 
pausing it right this late in the game is a little silly. Uh, go ahead and uh, call it for this episode. When we come back next time, we will finish off this mission, go meet Bozota, and then head back over to the Hatikra Free League stuff, work on that for a little bit, uh, maybe do some of the other missions that I've been collecting over time, uh, just to make a little bit of money and get some faction rep up. Um, but in the meantime, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.